Hello and welcome to Junior Achievement of Tampa Bay's BizTown Teacher Training. This portion of the training will cover the in-class curriculum that you will be using to prepare your students for JA BizTown. We are so excited to have you participate in this program as we help local students prepare to succeed in a global economy. Let's begin with a little bit about the program. The JA BizTown program helps students build a foundation upon which they can implement the importance of ethical business practices, teamwork, and making sound business decisions. The program is a capstone experience, which means after the in-class lessons, students will visit JA BizTown to apply what they learned in class to a simulation that reflects real-world decisions students will have to make later in life. Students will complete a job application, interview for their position, and be assigned a job position in a business. The goal of this training is to get you more acquainted with the JA BizTown program and go over the curriculum you will be utilizing in your classroom. We will also share insights and best practices to ensure that your students have a successful learning experience at JA BizTown. The JA BizTown program has four components to it. The teacher training prepares you to deliver the lessons, followed by you preparing the students for their visit through the class instructions. These lessons teach the students everything they need to know to be successful on the day of their visit. Next is the visit to JA BizTown, where the students put what they have learned to use. The program concludes with a post-simulation wrap-up, where you are able to discuss each business's profit and loss. The benefit of using this program for educators is that it does not require a lot of preparation on your end. The lessons are easy to use and flexible, so you can implement them when and where they fit into your class schedule. Everything is prepared for you, and the curriculum is interactive and engaging. It also includes assessments for each unit, and there are additional extension activities you can use to give students a well-rounded picture of what the future holds at JA BizTown. The teacher's commitment to the JA BizTown curriculum is to integrate the lessons into your classes to prepare the students. Please note that these lessons and extensions correlate to the Florida Common Core State Standards of Math and English Language Arts. Let's take a quick peek first at your JA BizTown materials. You should have your teacher guide binder, which includes all of the lesson plans, the student's citizen guide workbooks, JA BizTown Classroom Kit, JA BizTown Checkbooks, JA BizTown Biz Prep Paperwork, and Biz Briefs, which you will find in the side pocket of your Classroom Kit bag. Additionally, you get access to our online resources housed on the JA platform. Here you will find videos, unit resources, assessments, and more. Let's get started by looking at an overview of the JA BizTown curriculum. If you have your teacher guide, this will be a great time to get it out and follow along. We will be talking through each unit in an overview. The JA BizTown curriculum is comprised of five instructional units, followed by the visit to our site for the simulation and the debriefing lesson. We will talk about each unit in more detail in a few moments. The important thing to know is that each unit has a set number of lessons that will work into your class schedule. As the instructor, you will choose how you would like to incorporate each lesson into your schedule. Here are two suggested curriculum timelines that can be used to plan out your JA BizTown lessons. Remember, the curriculum is a flexible setup delivery of lessons. Use it however it fits best into your class schedule to make it work for you. Keep in mind the minimum 12 core lessons will need to be completed prior to your JA BizTown simulation visit day. Before we go over each unit, let's understand the features of each instructional unit. Each instructional unit is composed of a unit overview, lesson introduction, core lessons, application and extension opportunities, teacher references, and other lesson features. Each unit overview contains concepts of the unit defined for you, content standards, which explain the references for the Common Core State Standards, 
preparation that will provide suggestions on how to prepare. Unit assessment will be listed with a reference and page number. Lastly, a sidebar lists the unit's core lessons and application and extension activities. Next, the lesson introduction of each lesson is composed of concepts for each lesson including a brief overview, learning objectives, and materials, which consists of the items needed. These are found in the JA BizTown Classroom Kit, which we will talk about later. Each core lesson includes the following characteristics. Setting the stage, which gets the students intrigued and curious about the lesson. An activity, which breaks up the lesson so it's easily taught in one session. The activities include games, art projects, or demonstrations. Instruction, which includes review, teacher-led discussion, guided practice, vocabulary, and visual aids. Practice, which consists of independent practice to help the students master the lesson, and summing it up, which allows you to check for student understanding of the lesson. Think of the core lessons as the required pieces of the curriculum. The number of core lessons can differ from unit to unit. Each unit also has a variety of application activities and extension activities. The time frame for each varies upon the lesson being taught. While an application activity can occasionally be substituted for a component of the core lesson, extension activities correlate to the concept or topic being presented in the core lesson. Both activities may be used to review a concept when the concept has not been mastered by the majority of the students. Lastly, the teacher references are composed of four pieces. Check it out scenarios are featured in the first four units. It contains daily prompts that provide students an opportunity to practice skills such as check writing, debit purchases, electronic payments, deposits, and registers. An assessment is at the end of each of the four units. CCSS references will be used in each lesson. However, the teacher reference section includes the detail of each standard for easy reference. Each unit has vocabulary words. For easy reference, a glossary of vocabulary is included for each unit, organized by lesson. Now that we have reviewed the format for each unit, we will go through each unit and highlight things to know. Let's get started with Unit 1, Financial Literacy. During this unit, students will begin to understand the fundamental concepts of earning and spending and the importance of sound personal finance. In addition, it introduces students to banking services and practices that will help them be successful in JA BizTown and in life. This unit includes a video introduction to the program, a pretest, four core lessons, nine application activities, and eight extension opportunities you can choose from. Let's move on to Unit 2, Community and Economy. During this unit, the students will explore their role as a citizen of a community and learn the circular flow of money and goods in an economy. They will also understand the impact of taxes and philanthropy. This unit includes three core lessons, six application activities, and five extension opportunities you can choose from. Unit 3, Work and Career Readiness. During this unit, the students will learn how their interests and skills can lead to exciting careers. They will have the opportunity to evaluate their own interests and skills to apply for an available job at JA BizTown. In addition to filling out a job application, the students will have an opportunity to experience the job interview process. This unit includes JA BizTown Jobs tab found in your teacher guide, two core lessons, four application activities, and four extension opportunities you can choose from. Unit 4, Business Management. During this unit, the students will learn the key factors in operating a business in order to prepare for the JA BizTown visit. This unit includes your JA BizTown Biz Prep paperwork, JA BizTown checkbooks, three core lessons, six application activities, 
and six extension opportunities you can choose from. After you delivered all of the in-class lessons, the next step is to visit JA BizTown for the simulation portion of the curriculum. Your visit to JA BizTown will be about four hours. There will be more detailed instructions for preparing specifically for this part that will be shared with you. Lastly, Unit 5, Visit and Debriefing. During this unit, you have a debriefing lesson that provides an opportunity for the students to reflect on their JA BizTown experience and further identify the relevance of classroom learning to their future plans and goals. Also, business reports and student reports of the day will be available following the simulation for the student's team's performance evaluation. This unit includes a post-test, your two core lessons, three application activities, and one extension opportunity you can choose from. Now that we have completed the teacher guide overview, let's review all of the other materials you have received. This will be a great time to take out all of your materials and follow along. First, you have the student workbooks, which are referred to as citizen guides. Once students complete the citizen pledge, they will be referred to as citizens. Citizen guides are provided for each student. The guide contains worksheets used in combination with each of the units, family newsletters for each unit to take home, practice checkbook materials, a glossary of all vocabulary words, and citizen alerts, which help them form a link between learning and real-world activities. Please be aware, the color in the teacher guide and citizen guide will correspond with each other in each unit. Therefore, you will be able to spot if a student is in the correct unit throughout the lessons. Next, you have the JA BizTown checkbooks. The checkbooks are provided for each student to use during the simulation. They should not be used in the classroom until they are distributed during the lesson immediately prior to the JA BizTown visit. This is where they will create their first deposit ticket, a $1.50 savings check, and update their transaction register based on their pay rate. If students ever get confused, the last page of their checkbook provides a cheat sheet for them. Please be aware, the practice checkbook materials for classroom use are included in the Student Citizen Guide. In addition, you have your JA BizTown Classroom Kit. A classroom kit contains other materials necessary for teaching the curriculum. These items are non-consumable and should be used year after year. Carefully store them when you have completed JA BizTown's curriculum. The classroom kit includes JA BizTown posters that are displayed during most lessons, assorted activity cards which are required with various activities, a check it out poster that should remain posted during the entire JA BizTown curriculum, and bingo pads, which will be used during an application activity in Unit 1. In the pocket of your JA BizTown classroom kit, you will locate your biz briefs. These booklets contain brief summaries of the businesses in JA BizTown. It will be utilized in an application activity in Unit 4 and to complete their JA BizTown BizPrep paperwork. Your JA BizTown BizPrep is located in the manila folder you were given. The front cover of the manila folder will inform you of the businesses your school was assigned. The BizPrep contains paperwork needed to operate the JA BizTown business on the day of the on-site visit. The BizPrep cover sheet will display the name and logo of the business. Once the students have applied for their job, been interviewed, and then informed of their job assignment, the students will conduct business meetings to complete the biz prep paperwork for their business. The CEO of the business will read the welcome letter that introduces students to JA BizTown and work with the team to complete various paperwork. Let's discuss what you'll find in each biz prep. After the welcome letter, you'll see the business cost sheet. Students will write themselves in as employees and figure out their operating costs. Next is the loan application. Students will take their operating costs and request a loan from GTE Financial for this amount plus interest. 
third is the promissory note. Students will fill this out, promising to pay back the loan they were given by the end of their simulation visit. The web page ad is next. Better Business Bureau will create a web page for each business, and this is where students will decide what to include on their web page. The radio ad will be completed by the students before their visit, and the DJs will read it on air at the radio station. Last is the United Way pledge sheet where students will pledge to donate some of their cash to United Way. Before your visit to JA BizTown, the biz prep must be collected and double-checked for accuracy. Once you have collected the biz preps and checkbooks and double-checked them for accuracy, you are ready to visit JA BizTown. Thank you so much for taking the time to go through this training and get your students prepared for their visit to JA BizTown. We covered a lot in this training, but the one thing I want to reinforce is that this curriculum is easy to navigate and use. Nobody knows your students better than you do. Tailor this program to work best in your classroom and fit with your schedule. Remember, the more prepared the students are arriving at the simulation, the more meaningful the experience will be. We look forward to seeing you soon at JA BizTown.